With me today is Jeff Peavy. He's the VP responsible for technical operations. Jeff, could you tell us a little more about how ICAR is working with the OEMs on their welding certification programs and how that's changing? Well, sure. Uh, you know, that's a pretty lengthy conversation for sure, but uh, one of the things that we've done for years is we've supported the Jaguar Land Rover uh, welding certification programs. We uh, offer uh, those programs or that training in Appleton, Wisconsin facility that we have. Uh, we also now will be offering it at the Jaguar facility in Atlanta. And uh, we've built this facility here in Vernon Hills uh, in the Chicagoland area, and it also could be available for a Jaguar Land Rover or any OEs that have some program that they may want to bring through. And uh, that's a big part of the design of this whole build out of this, really. And the general build out of this uh, Chicago Tech Center to support Appleton uh, really is about supporting not just the industry, but, but also really supporting the OEs and their, and their journey for a complete safe and quality repair and a collision repair industry. You know, one of the discussions I had earlier today was on increasing the repairability of certain vehicles where ICAR works with the OEMs to identify where there may be an opportunity to simplify the repair to make more of these vehicles safely repairable and not total. Can we speak on that? Yeah, so that, I mean, that certainly is a discussion that takes place in the industry all the time. And again, a big part of our, um, our support to the, to the uh, OEs is to help them with uh, thinking through how that environment that a collision repairer is in and uh, the challenges they have, the tools and equipment and so forth that they have. Uh, and you know, we all agree with the OEs, uh, they are the final say, they are the standard, and uh, what they say goes. They built the car, no one knows it better than they do. Uh, but we also very much are collision repair uh, specialists. And so as we work with them with their repair procedures, if there's times where maybe there is a, a little different way of approaching a repair, maybe it's less intrusive, but at the same time it still pr proves to be complete safe and quality repair, uh, we certainly will have the, the uh, uh, conversations with them and work with them to see if there's other alternatives. Because if a car can be repaired, oftentimes everybody wins. Can we speak any on um, how welding equipment has changed or um, what uh, considerations ICAR has made in, in setting up this welding lab? Yeah, well, first of all, we, we have the support of the industry. I mean, if you look around at all the different types of welders that we have here, uh, this is only a small part of, of the welders and the, the companies that build the welders. Uh, it's just been tremendous support. So this particular welding lab here uh, is configured in ways that we can retool it for whatever type of welding, uh, maybe program or training program that we're doing. And really the technology around welding is, is just like everything else. It's not unique. It's, uh, it seems like it's changing almost on a monthly basis. And uh, the repair techniques around welding, um, there's just a whole uh, myriad of, of different techniques that are coming out. and, and um, one of the things that we've been working on is really understanding all of the different types of welders uh, to really understand that, what uh, the specs are that the car manufacturers need, and really how can we work with the car manufacturers to help understand what welders work and what, in what situation. That's a big part of some of the research that we're doing on behalf of uh, OEs and others, and we'll continue to do that. So you'll see more and more information from us over, over time uh, on that to support the industry. Well, we look forward to seeing that. I appreciate you, you joining bet. us today, Jeff. You bet. Thank you.